Hey folks, um, just doing a very quick video this evening. Um, I've been smoking this uh, Camacho Corojo Robusto and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, so I thought I'd do a, a mini review. Um, <clears throat> I'll give you the basic information first. It's a, obviously, as I say, it's a robusto, so it's five by fifty. Um, Corojo wrapper, Corojo filler, and Corojo ligero binder, um, all Honduran. Um, so that's the basic information. Uh, the pre-light draw gives you lots of wood. Um, now, me personally, it's a lot. It, it was very reminiscent of a sorry, I'm very reminiscent of walnut, uh, particularly walnut skin. There's a little bit of spice with it as well, but not much. Um, no pepper with this one, or none that I've detected so far. Um, as I've got about halfway down, um, it started the the wood's still there, but I'm getting a creaminess as well now. Um, there's also some sweetness there, but. It's slightly, very, very slightly reminiscent of black uh, treacle, very slightly. Um, but it's quite in the background is that sweetness. It's there, but not overpowering. Um, the burn, I've had to correct it a little bit um, because it was getting a little bit wavy, a little bit out of hand. But now that it's been straightened out is burning great it does pack a little bit of a punch not overpowering um, Uh, yeah, certainly not overpowering at this stage anyway. Um, I think if you have a decent meal before you smoke it, you shouldn't have too much of a problem unless you are very new. Um, you know, I w to cigars. I wouldn't recommend this as a first cigar to try. <coughs> um, but it's definitely an enjoyable smoke. It looks really appealing when you when you look at the cigar before you light it yeah th there's a couple of veins in there but that wrapper is is you know a beautiful milky chocolatey um very very nice i don't think it'll show up on the in this light um but it's an incredible incredible cigar really Um, just beautiful to smoke and as usual um, I'm smoking it with the V-cut uh, the Calibri deep V-cutter um, I've said in, in another video that I, I really like that V-cut um, it, it stops any problems with the cap uh, on the well, I say it stops any problems on with the cap with with these ring gauges, you know, quite a large ring gauge. It's it's ideal um, if you're not confident with the cut. 
you know, to use a guillotine cut and you think you might slip with it, a V cut is the perfect alternative because you can you can't really go wrong with it. It's quite a smooth retro hail on it as well. Um, the lack of pepper um, really helps that, you know, with a lot of the few, a few of the cigars that I've tried, or quite a lot of the cigars I've tried, pepper seems to be a predominant flavour in a lot of them, and I'm not picking it up in this at all. Um, the, it's, it's just woody notes, a slight sweetness of, you know, uh, black treacle, maybe molasses, something like that. I, I always assume that those are the same thing. I've never had molasses, so I don't know. Um, woody notes, there's a creaminess to it, creeps in about halfway through. Um, very, very nice cigar. So we'll see how it goes uh, in a few, you know, one, once I'm a little bit further in. So coming towards the end of the second third, um, there's a little bit of pepperiness creeping in there now. Um, but it's still mild. Um, a couple of times on the retrohale now I've got a fruity flavour. Um, I've not really been able to identify it other than the fruit. Um, I almost... It almost tastes a little bit like a uh, pear to me. Yeah, it, it does. It tastes tastes quite like pear. Um, it's a really, really well balanced cigar is this from what you know, from my limited knowledge um, <coughs> and experience. Um, I do know that I will be getting some of these again in the future. The draw's been fine throughout, um, not too tight, not too loose. Um, all in all, just a really enjoyable uh, experience. We're into the final third now. Um, the pepper that came in about halfway through the second third is still there. Um, the creaminess is still there and there's now um, <coughs> a little bit of spice has cre crept in as well. Um, it's the sort of spice that I usually describe as nutmeg. Um, whether that is an accurate description or not I don't know but it's what I feel closely resemble close yeah, resembles it closely close uh, tongue tied there's still a little bit of fruitiness there but it, it seems to have developed from a, a pear-like taste to more um, 
raisins or sultanas something like that um, it's been a really really good cigar to be honest um, it's one that I'm definitely enjoyed and as I said earlier I will be getting again <coughs> excuse me um, I would say you know just to repeat not necessarily a good cigar to have as your first cigar but certainly enjoyable for um, for the intermediate to experienced cigar smoker uh, definitely worth getting um, and at the price that they sell for as well it, it's a good price range to um, it's not going to break your bank too much so I'm going to leave the video there uh, finish off the last part of this cigar um, hope that you're all having a, a that, that you all have a good weekend um, and I'll catch you in my next video. So you take care guys.